Hello, social media friends. I'm Viri Diana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News. The Ector County Commissioners held their regular scheduled meeting, and here's the story. During the regular scheduled meeting of the Ector County Commissioners, the court considered engaging in a real estate broker contract with J.L. Herridge doing business as Copper Key Realty in the possible sale of the Ector County Coliseum. Uh, at today's vote was simply to contract with Copper Key Realtors since they do have a buyer already lined up. Uh, just to be able to enter into negotiations and the discussions about what that would look like. The commissioner's court was informed by Copper Key Realty about seven to eight weeks prior to the July 6th regular scheduled commissioner's court meeting. The county had no, uh, no plans or thoughts of a sale of a coliseum at any time, uh, but uh, I don't know, eight weeks ago, seven weeks ago, somewhere in there, we, we through Copper Realty, uh, were made aware that there is a buyer that was interested in looking at the property and, and did submit an offer. An offer between 25 to 30 million dollars to purchase the Arctic County Coliseum was made but was turned down by the Commissioner's Court. We, we initially looked at that offer and said well we would not consider that uh, at that price anyway uh, but we really needed to have a realtor involved in order to even send that communication back to the potential buyer. Um, I don't know that it would go anywhere, but I think uh, at this point, uh, because of the, the, the age and the state of repair that the Coliseum is in, uh, we don't have the funding available at the county without a bond issue to, to really bring it up to, to today's standards of what uh, these venues and places offer other places. Uh, but a private business might could. The world famous Chuck Wagon Gang and several organizations that hold events at the Coliseum for decades voice their opposition to the potential sale of the venue. The Chuck Wagon Gang has been a part of the community since for 82 years. And you know, we do a lot of charity work. We help police, so all kinds of stuff. And the, the uh, community always helps us. And the uh, Coliseum always helps us as well. We help the Coliseum. It's a it's a win-win. And like I said, the the Coliseum is owned by the community. And it's a big staple of Odessa. Just like Odessa Chequan Gang is a big staple of Odessa. And we want to continue that. Of course, we want it to improve. You know, as, as we bring more events in, it can improve. You know, Chuck, the old show helps, helps make it improve. But anyway, we're just, we are disappointed. And we, we hope that uh, it does not happen. And we hope that we can continue on as we are right now, helping the community and being a big part of Odessa. We spend on renting the facilities, we spend approximately forty to forty five thousand dollars a year. And the fair is a very big organization. We're open for ten days where our uh, revenue is up close to millions and we uh, contribute a lot to the community. We bring people in. Uh, a lot of people think a lot of the tax money goes into the Coliseum. It really doesn't. It is mostly supported by the hotel motel tax money. The Odessa Chamber of Commerce and Discover Odessa believe that private ownership of the Ector County Coliseum can have a negative impact on future events coming to Odessa. As um, Renee Earls, our CEO of the Chamber of Commerce stated, she hopes that a committee is formed because it clearly is more of a decision for the community and a lot of representatives and clearly the Chamber of Commerce Discover Odessa has a vested interest in it in knowing that our job is to bring visitors here and that sale could impact that that uh, for the community. Some of these events that are looking to attend or to you know have their event at the Coliseum, this could definitely impact their decision on whether or not they come. And that is concerning as well because if it's a decision of not coming, then that clearly is 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 money into the community that we're losing. The Arctic County Commissioners voted three to two to approve a broker contract with Copper Key Realty, but there is a question if there is a contract already in place to sell the Coliseum. Another thing what, what I want to add also with one of the Army is to protect the citizen and the groups. So in the contract it says if leases go up they can only go up so much per year and different things like that to protect the groups and the citizens. It is unsure if a committee of concerned Odessa citizens will be established to discuss the future of the Erector County Coliseum. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also at DRB Media Communications Digital News, 
Dot TV. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.